Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint the Word Birders chapter badge. If you'd like to support the channel, our coffee and Patreon page is a link below. Now on to the video. So this is the finished Word Birders miniature from the tutorial last Wednesday, which is linked here. And it is the shoulder pad and the chapter badge, more specifically, that we'll be working on today. So the first thing that we're going to do is use Vallejo White, or whichever white you use, just to do that background flame pattern. And when you're looking at the pattern, try and work out where you're doing so it's more central. I put this on and then it ends up being slightly over to one side, so I end up having to shuffle that over a little bit and tweak that a little bit. That's not too much of a problem. The first one that you do is always a little bit weaker than the rest. And you will find that the more you do them and the more freehand that you do, the easier they get. Now with this one, it does have like all the flames and stuff in the background. If you wanted to do this with yellow, red and orange of some description, that'd be fine too. I like to do it with white and then use shades to do the flame colours because you can get them to kind of effortlessly blend in a little bit. So what we're doing is we've painted on those rough flame shapes there. We are now using white just to fill that out and smooth that over a little bit so you can't see any of the red through it. You can see me slowly shuffling the thing over to the left there. Because it's slightly too far to the right. So I'll work on that, shuffling that over. And then when we come back, we can start working on the shades. So the first shade we're going to use is Citadel Cassandora Yellow. And we can do the whole of this white flaming area with Cassandora yellow. It does go on very, very well. It colours the white very, very well. And as I say, when you're using the Fugan orange, that will blend into it quite well there too. So when you're looking at the icon or the chapter badge, you'll see that the orange covers not right the way up to the tips of the flames. The tips of the flames tend to be a more orangey red colour, but this goes around kind of the edge of the main ball of the fire, as it were. Now you have those little flamey offshoots coming off it. Some of them will look a bit orangey, like the ones near to the bottom. Not the very bottom ones, but the kind of like two above, I think it is. And you just want that kind of circle of yellow in the middle, almost like that. This next part is just to show you what happens when it goes wrong. I started using Caribbean Crimson and you'll immediately see that it starts blending in with the background red. So, scrap that, because we're not going to use Caribbean Crimson. We are instead going to come in with a little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet, because we want those flames to look a little bit more orangey red. And we're just going to paint the orangey red Evil Sun Scarlet over the white. So ignore that Caribbean Crimson. You can still see the shape of the flames there. So you're just using this Evil Sun Scarlet to do those tips of the flame so that stands out against the kind of ready maroon coloured armour. What we're doing now is we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo Black and this is to do the demon's face on the flaming parts. I'll just start this off off camera so it's a nice surprise for you. Obviously that's not intentional, just a bit of bad camera work. So I'm starting off with the horns here. I find it easier to do the horns and then the kind of bridge between the two which is the top of the head. Then start filling out the skull beneath that or the shape of the demon's head. I've just noticed on that power pack that there's a bit of a face on there just from the two metal tubes that look like the bottom jaw's teeth poking up and part of the backpack which I could paint as an eye at a later point so I might do that on another video just for a bit of a jolly. But for the skull and the demon's head here we are just completely covering that black. If you paint that on first and you're not quite happy with the shape as I'm not here then all we're going to do is use a little bit of Vallejo white in this next section like so. And we're going to trim down the right hand side of that horn and the right hand side of the face and just get this 
section so it's the right shape. We're also going to paint on the eyes roughly there. Get the little bits for the edge of the skull. And then we're just going to tweak the sides of that with a little bit of Vallejo black again. As I always say with these freehand videos, when you're doing it, if you make a mistake and something's the wrong shape, just touch it up as you go along. Or sometimes if you prefer, just leave it until the very end and then touch up the whole thing at once. Sometimes it can be a little bit intimidating to look at the actual logo, but they're a lot simpler than you think. And if you're doing highlights, highlights and edge highlights and things like that, it's a lot of the sim same and similar techniques. So there we've put two spots of white for the nostrils and three downward strokes for the teeth. And you can see there where we've amended the shape of the skull. The Cassandora yellow is just going to be going over the bits we've painted white. Then we'll use a little bit of Fugan orange just to touch up those orangey flames around the outside there too. And with that finished, we have the nicely finished off Word Birders chapter badge on the shoulder there. Really pleased with how that turned out. And on a squad of your miniatures on the tabletop, that chapter badge will look pretty stunning. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you like the content and you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.